Hello, welcome. This is going. This is an interesting video. This, for some reason, I didn't even see the update pop up, but the second, well, the prelude to the second DLC has launched. For anybody who has the, I believe it's the season pass has DLC too. I'm not one of them. I'm gonna wait until I get it, whatever. But uh, we get the free DLC mission, Dimension Diamond. So let us proceed in. I'm gonna vo hopefully voice it as usual, and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll be arriving at the DBD site momentarily. I know my voice acting is terrible. A dimensional boundary distortion point where subspace borders are intact. This shows fluctuations. We're still not sure if the estrangers are coming through DBDs or if the DBDs are caused by the estrangers. Uh, Ma'am, it looks like there's combat occurring at the target with points as identified. We had no reports about the force. City part of us to send information. Mobile teams prepare for scramble. Address Ritter will rush to the site. Okay. So who is this mysterious person? Special Scenario Dimension Diver. If you have seen previous videos on the channel, you might know who this. What was that like? Am I in space? Meg isn't here. I don't see the Rakalm anywhere. How we transferred here alone? But it doesn't look like a gate has opened. Uh oh. Oh boy. Who? I've never seen anything quite like them. I don't know who he's supposed to be, but if you're going to attack me, then one thing is clear. You are my enemy. All right. So the Darian Dika's skill activates under 50% HP, allowing you to turn mortal damage into victory. Interesting. Team slaps already. Let's go. Also, I'm gonna shut up for the animation. The enemy must be defeated. So let's pass the turn. Will we see the second attack? Not yet, at least. All right, so we're gonna go for multi-action. We're going to go for, what was that called? Drama. Intriguing. Oh, you Yes, that's right. I think I forgot to tell you. Level 100 is a thing now. Uh, as of this update, they increased level 99 to 200. The 10 to 15, or from 15 to 20 on the mech, and also increasing the ability to gain a super ace. Now, usually you'd be getting a regular ace and a great ace, but now a super ace is at 300, which allows you to gain, I believe it's 1.3 credits in battle, and also start with, I think it's 1.5 times the amount of SP than usual, if I was reading that correctly. But we're going to go for multi-action again. I know this is on a, well, completed game account, but, you know, I just thought I'd jump in and do it. Anyways, uh, let's proceed on. This thing's doing some numbers already. Also, wow, I'm leveling up quite fast. Oh, goodness. All right. So let's go for the final attack. I should have went for smash, but... We're going for Holket Karev. Excuse me if my German or whatever this language is uh, wrong. Anyways, last attack. Sweet! 
So is that the mission? Yeah, it's over. Is this one of the worlds I'm familiar with, or is it yet another parallel world? If it wasn't the gate that brought me here, then who was responsible? Whatever the case, I need to get some information first. A uh, battleship? It's much larger than the Rakalum. Pilot of the White Mech, do you copy? I am commanding Mitsuba Grey Valley of the Dress Rider Earth Federation Autonomous Corps. We've come to confirm the situation. Please respond. I am Nidarian, affiliated with the Londo Bell. The Londo Bell, you say? I reach out to Captain Bright and he says no such mobile weapon is registered with them, ma'am. It's possible that the, quote, Londo Bell he speaks of is a different entity from the Londo Bell we know. I see. This confirms that I have been transferred to an unfamiliar parallel world. A parallel world. Displaced through the DBD. This is not the first time I've been displaced to a parallel world. Um, sorry, who are you? I believe further questions are in order, ma'am. We'd like to ask you a few questions, Zydarian. Would you mind coming aboard? Please follow instructions to dock with our ship. Once you just spark from your machine, we can discuss the situation. I am not a pilot. Calmly and... Pardon? I myself am Daidarion. Uh, what? Even I'm shocked. So, to put it briefly, you transform into Daidarion. Forgive me, but no one will ask if I don't. So, how? Just how? I don't know the answer myself. I've lost a great deal of my memory. You look like, well, a relatively normal human being right now. What is Daidarion exactly? According to Meg, I am a large humanoid weapon. Who might this, quote, Meg be? She's an Earthling who taught me a great deal. You say she's an Earthling. Does that mean you're not? From what I've been told, I was sleeping inside a battleship that drifted to Meg's Earth from beyond the known regions of space. I have no recollections of anything before I opened my eyes. You mentioned you were fighting as a part of the Parallel World's Londo Bell. Yes, from my understanding, your cause is the same as that of the Londo Bell I know. But I cannot stay here long. I must go back to Omegas. I must rejoin my conference. Would you be willing to cooperate with us until a way is found to return your homeworld? As I said, you're not the first visitor from a parallel world that the dress shirt has made contact with. While we fight with this world's peace and freedom, we also plan on investigating the displacement phenomenon that brought you here. We would provide you with food and shelter while also sharing any information we discover regarding a way to send you back. Of course, we won't fight you, force you to fight for us. Your participation in any given operation will be left to your discretion. Of course, I don't have anywhere else to go anyway. Power part! Dimension driver required. Sweet. So that's a little backstory. Didarion is the being, and Dido is the pilot. Well, well the human form of it.